Nancy Shavid, Assistant Professor of Anatomy at Lebanese American University School of Medicine in Biblos, Lebanon. For some decades, I practiced reconstructive surgery in the United States. I am also a musician and a writer. This conference on transformation of medical education is wonderful and timely. Exciting changes are happening, which could potentially run away and take on a life of their own. But if we're proactive and guide the forces in a positive way, we may indeed see the promised improvements in diagnosis, treatment, and newfound time on our hands we can really sit down and listen to our patients' stories with. Are our students ready for these changes? Are we as educators ready? Coming from a background of both the arts and medicine, and having lived and worked in both the U.S. and Lebanon, I feel we have to ask ourselves, are we, in particular, in the MENA region, ready for transformation? Are there special challenges we'll have to face? Is our medical curriculum already undergoing rapid change, now suffering cur from curriculum overload? Can it accommodate new content? If we have a traditional and understandable orientation to professional goals, where, for example, it is still a bit unusual here to find a med school applicant who has majored in something other than biology, will this prove to be an obstacle to change or not? Are we prepared to embrace narrative medicine as part of our educational programs? But maybe, if we stop and look at our existing curriculum, we'll see that a generous helping of humanism is already there. We just need to shine a light on it, respect it, give it new life, and position it as a bona fide discipline.